Oh, hello, Bid. It's your boy, Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. Today's video, we're discussing Layton Exclusive from Parfum de Mali. So listen, man, I was looking around in my phone the other day at some notes, and I came across this list that my wife made for me, which was a list of fragrances within my collection that I have not reviewed. In fact, I was supposed to review them all last year <laughs> so i did nothing with that list so let's just say that this year my friend is a start now i added latent exclusive to my collection about a year ago early 2019 is when i added this one to my collection and i haven't really talked about it much since in fact i believe i mentioned this on the channel one time in a most hyped video of fragrances, but that was really about it. One of the things I disliked most about this fragrance was the actual presentation. So I know what you're thinking, oh big baby, it's just like the other fragrances in terms of presentation. Well, not really. See, generally speaking, I am an organized person and I like things to be in order. And this one only came in a 75 ml and that one hurt me to my core. So I know what you're thinking, like, yo, B, like how did this hurt you to your core? So listen, man, the bottle size is not quite the same. Therefore, it throws off the entire display. But I, I guess it really doesn't matter as I'm the only person looking at the display, but it's just weird. <laughs> but I digress. Look, for any of you fragrance manufacturers or distributors out there, understand for me, <laughs> uniformity is key. Now, if you're familiar with Parfum de Marley Layton, then Layton Exclusive should be no stranger to you either. And this one is generally speaking, the more popular fragrance. This one is this woody aromatic scent that gets a ton of love. Your notes for Layton Exclusive include mandarin, bergamot, some water accords, and grapefruit in the top. You have rose, geranium, gardenia, and water lily in the mid. And then in the base, we have musk, pink pepper, coffee, amber, and sandalwood, just to name a few. To me, Layton Exclusive is this woody, musky scent with these pops of spice, and you also have these floral nuances. Now, there's so much depth and dimension to this fragrance that it just really takes you along a fragrant journey. In addition to the wood, musk, and floral notes within this fragrance, you also get that spice, you get some vanilla, and you get some coffee as well that just add to that depth and dimension of this fragrance. Now, with that stated, I believe that the complexity within this scent is really something that fragrance lovers will enjoy. And to be uber clear, when I say fragrance lovers, I'm more so referencing those hardcore fragrance collectors as I don't believe that this is one that the casual wearer will overtly appreciate. This one has this earthy, musky tone to it as well, which could be a bit different, and I'm not sure that this is one that the casual fragrance wearer will immediately fall in love with. To my nose, there's an old note in here which is easily detectable, but I don't find this one to be like a super aggressive, pungent, in your face type of old, but it is there nonetheless. Like I said, that old note isn't super aggressive, but it does lend to the overall vibe of the fragrance. And with that being said, <laughs> I think that couldn't sway the way people feel about this one. To me, when I think of Layton Exclusive and Layton, although Layton Exclusive is generally speaking the more popular fragrance in terms of what the fragrance community enjoys, I think I have the unpopular opinion by saying that I believe that the OG Layton is a bit better. Simply put, I think that Layton Exclusive is the darker, more moody, and also more expressive take on Layton, which isn't a bad thing if that's what you're into, but I think, just again, that the original is just better. In fact, I was a bit disappointed with this scent overall. Now, I'm not saying that this one is a bad fragrance. It's just that, again, the Fragcom world is saying that, hey, Layton Exclusive is far better than Layton, and I really thought Layton was a standout fragrance. Um, I gave that one a nine out of 10 in its rating, and I assumed that this one would be a 10 out of 10. Now also to be fair here, I wanna be super clear. I don't think that Layton Exclusive is a bad scent by far. I think that a lot of people will enjoy this fragrance. In fact, I personally believe that this one, again, is a more mature 
take on Layton. So I think if you are, I don't know, 40 and above, that this one could be a fragrance that you would like a bit more. I think depending on your personality type or how you are, and I don't think that this one aligns exactly with my personality type versus the original Layton. Now, during the times that I have worn this fragrance, Layton exclusive for me hasn't been bad in terms of performance. In fact, it's performed quite well as I've always gotten eight plus hours of longevity. It pops off the skin for about two or three hours or so, and then the sillage isn't bad as well. In terms of its overall scent, again, as I stated, when I talked about Layton being the better fragrance in my personal opinion, this one isn't bad at all, and I think you can expect to have moderate compliment factor with this one. If you're looking to pick this one up retail, it sells for about $290, but this thing is available at crystalfragrance.com. And if you use my code BBB, um, you're going to go ahead and save 20%. And I think that takes it to about $230 or so. I'm not extremely sure where I grabbed this fragrance from. I might've got it from Crystal. I might've got it from Luxury Scent Box. I'm not sure where I grabbed this fragrance from. Hell, I might've even picked it up. I'm not sure. I just know I picked it up in, in 2019. Um, but if you pick this one up at Crystal Fragrance, use the code uh, BBB and that's going to save you 20%. It takes it from $290 down to about $230 or so. So you do have a bit of savings there. Again, Father's Day is coming up, of which I've mentioned before in previous videos. So if you're looking for a fragrance for that special someone, this is one that would definitely work as a gift. Now, if I had this fragrance within my collection, obviously I do, but um, I would pretty much reserve this one for the cooler weather to me this one isn't like a warm weather scent although i'm an advocate of wearing what you want when you feel like it because it's your stuff so you don't have to rotate with the fragrances with the season but i think if you're looking for something that's going to give you optimal performance and the cooler weather is going to be the time to wear this Listen, take this review for what it's worth based on some of the feedback that was out there. When I grabbed this fragrance, I assumed it was going to be a 10 out of 10. Again, I gave Layton a 9 out of 10. And with this one being regarded as the better fragrance, I assume this will be a 10 out of 10. For me, this one just doesn't hold true of being the better fragrance between Layton and obviously Layton exclusive. So if I had to rank this thing, obviously I'm about to, I would give it somewhere in a realm of an 8 to an 8 and a half. I don't feel that Layton exclusive is like far under Layton. I just feel like Layton slightly edges this one out. That is in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you have this one in your collection? Do you have Layton in your collection? And which one do you prefer? As always, I'm your boy, Big B B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.